Hello, welcome. In today's video, we are going to apply what you've learned so far to play John Lennon's Imagine. Make sure that your ukulele is tuned and let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna move closer to the camera so that you can see everything a little better. Okay, watch me do the intro first and then we'll do it together. Okay, so if you're holding your ukulele, it's a combination of the forearm doing the seatbelt that we've talked about, but now the hand is coming all the way up here because I'm strumming with the side of my nail. So my strum is a lot higher. And I'm also holding the ukulele with the index finger. So you don't have to do all that extra work if it's resting on your knee. If it's resting on your knee, then you don't have to do that. But if you're holding it, you do. Okay. So we have two C's, two C major seven, and notice how I'm using the index finger, and then four F's. Now if you want to reach above and beyond with this one, you can add a little lick to it, and the lick just means a little melody, so it sounds like this. That's the entire intro. If you don't want to add the lick, then just continue strumming on that F. So let's try it. Here we go. One, two, beginning, go. Switch. Switch. Again. One, two, ready, go. repeat that two times for the intro. Please remember to use the printable. It's down in the description box below and it will help you a lot. Thankfully the verse follows the same form so we don't have to learn anything new. So let's try intro verse. I'm not a singer, I'm a teacher. So don't make fun of me. Here we go. One, two, intro, go. continues. Please remember if you're playing C chord use your ring finger, C major 7 use your middle finger and for F use your piece fingers. Use the right form. Don't build this habit. That's not good just the index finger for everything. No 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 this is a 30 day uke challenge. Challenge yourself. Alrighty let me play the bridge for you and then we'll do it together. A minor, pretty simple. One, two, A minor. One, two. For D minor, we do have to pivot the hand in, tuck the ring finger behind there. Make sure that every finger is on a different string. This um, chord is easy to confuse it. And make sure that the hand remains curved. Don't give me flat fingers, give me a curved hand. So let's do two beats on each. One, two, F, go. A minor, D minor. And then we resolve to F, so just lift the ring finger. Let's try that again. One, two, ready, go. One, two, switch. Two, switch. 
Okay, the second line of the bridge, you go from G, so pivot the hand inwards. Then we go to C, so the ring finger moves down. Two, and G7. So that is challenging, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that is challenging. Let's try that. Again, ready, go. So I think that's gonna be your homework for tonight. It's just doing G, 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 C, G7. C, G7. So I recommend you practice uh, one switch first, like G to C. G to C, practice that switch. Keeping the fingers really close to the fingerboard. Try not to have flying fingers. So just practice G to C without strumming. G to C, G to C, G to C, until you get fast. And then practice the second part. C, G7, C, G7. If your hand is already up here, then you don't need to move so much. Look, C, G7, C, G7, C, G7. So practice that as you're watching TV or doing anything that you can kind of hold your, you can do this, or you can make it part of this practice. C to G7, G to C. Those are really good pra like things to practice that will pay off in the long run. So if you're ready, let's try the bridge. If not, just watch. One, two, at the bridge. Go! kind of repeats what we've just learned so I'm gonna jump to the chorus and play that for you so we have another challenging part okay so we have F G and I'm using my index finger for that switch watch 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 F F switch G I'm using that as leverage. You can slow it down to F, F, switch, G, G, C, C major 7, E7. John Lennon is challenging us. <laughs> Let's try that. If you're ready, if not, just watch. You may say I'm a dream. The, the trick to really making that E7 sound good is to have the hand all the way up. You see how high up? I'm not like this. I'm over here on the head of the uke holding this way. So that is what's helping me with that E7. Okay, let's try it. Let's just keep repeating it. If all you can do right now is F, G, and C, then just do that until you master it. But at different points throughout the challenge, I've mixed an easy lesson, easy lesson, and a more challenging one with another easy one and challenging one. So I've spread out the challenging ones on purpose. So this is a challenging one, I understand. So what I would like you to do is break it up. So for today, only focus on the part that you're the closest to achieving and make that just your focus for today. And then another day, practice the next part that you're really close to achieving. And it will also help you if you identify what's difficult. Instead of thinking, I can't play Imagine, well, really, you can play F, G, C, C major 7, 
and E7. We've done all of this before, so identify what it is that is challenging you. So is it a specific switch? And if so, then practice without the strumming. Practice just building muscle memory so that your hand will do it without you having to think too hard. So practice this song, have fun with it, and take it slow. This is not a really fast song, so you can kind of enjoy your learning progress or process because it's a slow song. Now with this song, just continue doing down strums. And focus on getting a clear tone out of each string. Because if you start listening to the quality of your tone, you will really improve. Thank you to everyone who's sharing their videos and their photos on Instagram. You can just search for the hashtag on Instagram and see what people are doing. And it's amazing. I love it. It's really fun to look through. And I've noticed that some of you guys are looking at each other's as well. So that's really cool that we're building community on Instagram as well. Okay, have fun practicing this one. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Sayonara!